Treasure. And Pinlet on W4CY. Radio. 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 Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. The Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest, who has some killer music that I want to share with you. So let's welcome to the show Spencer from the Black Daggers. How are you? Excellent. Thanks, uh, Dean. Appreciate it. Thanks for being uh, having us or me. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. And uh, so it's pretty funny because I have a friend right now who is. In a Dallas airport, she left early this morning from the snow of Alberta to come <laughs> visit me in South Florida, where we're having a weird storm ourselves, but it's not snow. Yeah, uh, it's uh, actually right where I'm at. We're, so we're in Red Deer. It uh, There isn't really any snow right now, but it woke up to a bunch of frost. So uh, it's definitely cold enough, but uh, yeah, the snow's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sent me a picture this morning when she was going to airport, and it was definitely a lot of snow where she was. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> so so I, well, I, I, Florida would be fun. I, maybe I'll come down there shortly. <laughs> there you go. And I always think that's why some of the best music comes out of places like Canada or the Scandinavian countries, because when it gets that cold and that snowy and that dark, you got nothing better to do but to sit inside and create. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, uh, you know, I've heard that analogy before, like even going back to like the classic rock days of, you know, uh, legendary bands like uh, uh, the Guess Who and, uh, you know, Backman Turner Overdrive, you know, the Randy Backman stuff, you know, that I think that's a quote he said. He's like, what the hell else are you supposed to do when it's minus 40 out there? Right. Uh, and you, you just get together and you just hang out in each other's basement and, uh, have a couple wobbly pops and see what kind of noise you can make. There you go. I love it. So tell us about your n- newest album and, uh, you know, for people that haven't listened to you before, how you could paint the picture of why they should listen to it. And for those that are already fans of you guys, how is it the same? How is it different from previous music? Um, okay, so uh, full disclosure, it's it's actually our first record as as the Black Daggers. Um, so uh, Valentine uh, Vandal, uh, who's the singer um, and uh, lyricist, uh, he and I kind of met, and then um, uh, we started writing and recording stuff, and 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 uh, kind of blossomed from there. We brought Stan on, and we brought Mike on to fill in, uh, you know, another guitar and bring in the low the low end and it kind of went from there and but the, as far as the album's concerned and the music you know um it's we've we've always kind of thought of it as like we're we're a rock band we're an alternative band uh kind of thing um we you know i what really got me into what we were doing was um you know for me it's very much a i, I describe it as kind of being a bit of a therapeutic thing for me as well it's a bit of an outlet so um you know we just songs that invoked a kind of an emotional response out of us is kind of what we were after. And that's kind of what we thought we were able to throw together with this record. And it turned into this concept thing, right? So it kind of tells the story that of kind of somebody, you know, kind of given their all in life. And then eventually, you know, they make a deal with the devil because things aren't going so well. And then, you know, they're kind of, <laughs> you know, high on life after making this deal, but then of course it starts to fall apart and uh, um, chaos ensues. <laughs> so that's kind of the the story behind it. And I think there's a lot of practical things in there that uh, the average person might be able to um, relate to on some level. Maybe not the entire thing, but there's definitely stuff in there that I think everybody could find something to relate to. It definitely, um, you know, kind of gives me. Uh you know flashbacks of it's kind of like my life 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it, there's definitely some, like, really, like, lyrics in there that, that I can deeply 100% personally relate to, right? And uh, that's kind of what, you know, got me going for it, uh, because, you know, Valentine was able to construct this character who's like, you know, I've been calling it like an amalgamation of all these different types of people or experiences or people like it's not just us it's like it's people we know and he just like brought them all together into this one character right and and the whole album is just the each song is like a chapter of a progression through this story of this this character's um life and um uh experiences and and the chaos that uh, comes from uh um from living a life of chaos i guess for lack and you of a know what term. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Looking at all the, and the songs, you know, listening to them and, and and what they're all about, it even has, which I like because it's the type of person I have this, like, positive overtone to it, you know, and at the same time as what you're talking about, it's also giving, like, some, you know, for lack of a better way of putting it, motivational, positive influence to people. Yeah, like, it's... I mean, if you look at it right on the surface, it might come across as as more on the darker side, which I wouldn't dispute. But if you if you really dig into what the message, if if you can call it a message, is in there, it's actually positive. It's it's yeah. you know it it's 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 really kind of a um, hey, don't you know try not to let things get out of control and and uh, you know you've only got one life and you know try to make the best of it and and um, you know really at the end of the day, it is you know it like the last song Carpe Diem is like a, a, a retrospective from beyond the grave is how Valentine wrote that. It's just kind of like thinking back about, you know, um, the lessons, the, the woulda, coulda, shouldas, right. You know, as they say. Yeah, exactly. And, mm-hmm. and don't we all kind of do that? That's why, listen, that, that one, I love the name of that one because I live that every day, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I've always, since I'm young, felt like you got to live every day as if it's your last because you just never know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, 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 I wish sometimes I could take my own advice and I'm sure there's a lot of people that could uh, relate to even that feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's easy to preach. It's harder to live it. Right. So absolutely. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, you know, our goal with this record just like was we, we wanted it to be authentic, right? Like what you're hearing is authentically us, you know, it's, we recorded it at my house in my basement, the entire thing. Um, I engineered the whole thing and then, you know, nice. we worked on the songs together collectively. Um, like Valentine wrote, um, the, the lyrics and most of the melodies, but, you know, um, we all brought like Stan, Mike, myself and Valentine all brought different aspects of you know the songs together and then that's what we recorded like it's all recorded you know we we wanted it to sound like a band is what i'm trying to say right like yeah. it hasn't been like that was the goal make it sound like we're authentic we're a real band it's got that human element and the emotions are raw so that was the whole goal behind the entire record was just make sure it's real and people can relate to it and and it's yeah, it's it's just it's us. It's humans playing music and projecting emotions. That was the goal. There you go. And, and it is so important that music be authentic because listen, it, it's always obvious when it isn't. And really, that music is emo, invokes emotion, and the only way, way you're going to invoke emotion is by being real and authentic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So and and that that was the goal and I I I I hope we achieve that. Um, I I can safely say that you know even if only two people ever heard this record, I can safely say, hey, my bucket list item is checked off. Like I put something nice. out of that I'm proud of, and uh, nobody can take that away from me. I I can stand behind this. So you know I'm I'm super proud of what we've been able to achieve, and that's coming from you know an introvert who doesn't like to you know. Uh, say anything nice about himself 
because you know I'm introverted, so it's like I hate everyone, but mostly I hate myself, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, and it's so funny you bring that up because people don't realize like most musicians are introverts, and they think because they get up on stage and do what they do that they're extroverts, and actually. It's quite the opposite. And when you're on stage, mm-hmm. you are. I mean, people don't understand. You kind of yeah. are being introverted. You're in your own world, even if you're performing to 100,000 people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it, it, getting up on stage is, yeah, like it's, you're right. It, it, you, you're supposed to go up there and you're supposed to engage the audience, put on a show. I mean, they're there to be entertained at the end of the day, you know, so you kind of got to do that. But, you know, for, I, I, I could just see why so many be- musicians like get burnt out from touring and doing shows after a while because I mean if you're like that's that's a lot to go out there in front of a lot of pe- people right? <laughs> right there, you know and uh, fool yourself into thinking that you're going to entertain them so right? uh, yeah so that's that's I can certainly understand that and I'm also somebody that I'm big about album artwork so. Mm-hmm. I think it's really cool that the album artwork was shot at the abandoned Riverview Hospital. Yeah, that that was super cool. Um, I I actually lived in uh, uh, the South Surrey White Rock area when I was a uh, oh my elementary school days, and uh, I had no idea that that thing was there, and I, I'd never heard about it until we started doing like this record and and. Uh, working on the artwork and I was like oh no way you know out in Coquitlam there which you know lower mainland Vancouver area and uh, yeah seeing the pictures I was even uh, watching um, videos on on it and the the history behind it and I was blown away and I'm like yeah this is totally it totally fits for what we're doing you know (laughs) nice I love it like one of the songs I'm here uh, is the story of him being in a mental institution and trying to break out and part of the Riverview Hospital was effectively a a mental institution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. and there's there's a lot of abandoned ones in the U.S. By the way, yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. it, I used to live across the street from one that's closed down now, and it used mm-hmm. to be pretty creepy. Like me and my bro would just sit out on the front porch, and there would be like mental patients a walling and yeah. hitchhiking mm-hmm. on the road in front of my house. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen some things, man. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. So yeah. tell everybody how they can connect to you guys on socials, on the web, how they can get the new music, check out everything you got. Yeah, okay, so we are in the process of, okay, so the, the basics. Um, we're on most of the socials, or, I mean, the, the major ones. I mean, uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter, or X, as it's now called, uh, mm. we're on Facebook, we're all, you know, all of those just look up Black Daggers. It's virtually all Black Daggers or Black Daggers Music. Our website is blackdaggersmusic.com. Um, you know, you can kind of, everything's kind of connected through those channels. Um, music, uh, we're on all the major streaming platforms. Um, and we have physical copies coming out here. There's going to be a limited run of um, 100 physical copies of the album with the uh, the hospital artwork on the front and then that's it after that there's going to be we will re-release it um but it's going to be different artwork so um we're working on getting that uh the logistics behind that sorted out um so you can see that that'll be coming down the pike here pretty soon uh in the new year um will be probably when we re-release with the other artwork and there might be some additional b-sides because we've got a ton of music in the in the war chest or in the vault that we wrote we only pulled out the eight songs that we thought fit the best for what we were trying to achieve for this album um and also for timing right you know there was um you know we took on like i said we did this whole project by ourselves and there was you know um only so much we could handle um uh going day in day out for two or three months before you start to go crazy right (laughs) so yeah right (laughs) yeah yeah, so uh, we, we ended up capping it at eight songs and felt that, that that got the entire story and message across we wanted to. And, and so we'll re-release it, and there might be one or two additional songs uh, included in the re-release that uh, aren't on this one. Nice. No. Yeah. Any other things you want to, or final words you want to share with the listeners that we haven't covered already? Um, I think that's most of it. Um, you know, 
Valentine might have a few other things. He's usually the one to uh, he's he's been spearheading a lot of the uh, um, uh, marketing and promotion of the record as well. Um, so there, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. But uh, uh, follow us on the socials um, and uh, you'll see kind of what's going on. We'll have announcements of what's coming up, especially with the hard copies, uh, with with the uh, the Riverview Hospital and and you know any any additional news and future releases. Um, I think we're going to be doing some more streams streaming on TikTok, we got a lot of um, uh, interesting feedback. Um, uh, v- uh, Valentine and I were re-recording uh, or, or transposing a song last week uh, that we had recorded in standard tuning because we were recording it down to C. And uh, we were just streaming that whole process. And we were like, well, all two people might like this. But apparently a lot of people liked it and want us to do it again. So we might do some more of that, you know? Nice. We're just kind of seeing the, the creative slash recording process of us beginning to work on some of these other songs we want to release in the in the new year so um you know um some people might find that interesting some people might find it boring as hell <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well i hope they check everything out because you guys are badass and uh thank you I for giving that. us your art and thanks for being thank on the adventures of pipe man yeah thank you for the kind words thanks for having us really appreciate it so uh yes thank you and thank you to everybody who's uh taking the time to listen to our music because it really means a lot we 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 put our our heart and soul into it so if, if you if you listen to it and you're able to take one positive thing away from it our job is done as far as i'm concerned so love it it's, yeah that's great and i look forward to hearing a lot more from you guys yeah appreciate it thanks dean Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio. Radio.